just short of a year ago, I made a video on the Chinaris map that is being made in days. Well, sorry, Armory Forger. Now, you can see how it's long it's been since I made a video like this, because I know they even got it wrong. But I'll give you a little rundown. So here I am, I'm in the Game Master on Armory Forger, and we are going to be exploring Chinaris on Armory Forger. This is a mod, you can actually get it right now. Um, it's not fully completed, but it's been a lot more built since the last time I reviewed it, about eight months ago or nine months ago. And I'll tell you something, it is looking beautiful. All the maps that I have ever seen that has been made on Tamari Forger cannot compare to this. So we'll have a look around the west coast first. We're around here at Mishkino, and this is like the sawmill here you can find. Not fully built up yet, but a lot of design features need to be built. This is Navoy Petrovka, and I tell you now, it's looking a lot better than it was originally when I did review it. Going to top of Linky, it's been built up, and over here at Cinestock, looking absolutely amazing. Let's have a look here at the map. Yeah, so a lot more has been built since the last time I had a look. And I believe they've put the house up here. Yes, they have. We're over here at Zeleno right now. This still hasn't been built, but it's been uh, models that have been put in, uh, just like over here at the Pavlova military. You've got the uh, even the military towers there. And then we're going to go over here to Bar right there, and Dubovo, Polkovo right there, Pogoreka and Rigovo. And they're using these little gas markers here to fill cars up. And then we're just going to pop over to Vishnoi and Subcastle. Looking beautiful. Definitely a lot more been uh, built. The Zub is still looking the same, but I don't think they have the assets for the uh, the arches. Uh, back here with Konanya. I'm surprised this has actually been added. It is probably the most unexplored place on the map itself. And we're over at Good Globo. I'll tell you something, it is looking spectacular. Shakovka. Um, I believe that when you do play the map itself and you spawn in, you do spawn in around the Shakovka Good Globo area. Uh, it's the Roy, completely built now. I hope the military camp is there. We'll have a, might have a pan to it in a second. And there you go, all the way down here. So they have got the, what well, looks of it, the school in Electro down. And it looks like they're using the actual map layer to get a plan for it. Which is kind of cool and saves a lot of time. And we're going around to the islands here. Yeah, it, it does look like they modelled the map onto it as a base layer. And then modelled it around it and placed and stuff around it. Berezino itself is looking rather nice, so you can see it all planned out. The main airfields itself are all planned, that's good. But the map has come a long way since last time I checked, and I'll make sure to link my older video of this map and the description of this one. Uh, so we've got looks planned as well. Uh, we've got Ratno being planned, there's a Prodno here being built, and now to everyone's favourite castle, Devils. And obviously this is going to look completely different to the original version. There is a lot more built towers compared to the two uh, you would usually see in the default version. But I'm going to pop down a character here and we'll have a look around and have a walk. And you can see it for yourselves. It is beautiful. Firm as well. It's really nice because the uh, the new castle interiors for Amory Forger are uh, very well scenic, and it's looking over there in the distance. It looks spits of how you would find it on the original Chinaris map on Daisy and Armor Two, and then we'll go up here. And then we'll have a look around as well. Now 
Now, if you want to play this for yourself, head over to the Workshop and Armor. You can do it on PC or you can do it on Xbox. And just download the mod by Necrowolf. I would definitely recommend it.